Hello everyone, this is Crypto Maximalist. Welcome back to another video. Please like and subscribe if you haven't already and get involved if you like the content. So we're just taking a look at VeChain here on the daily time frame. As we can see, if we just zoom in over the past few days, we have seen VeChain getting up above that 55 EMA, which is really, really good to see. The last time that we did do this back here, we had a decent rally to the upside all the way to the top of the range. This is something that we are expecting to see again, or at the very least heading up to this main resistance here that we have been looking at, at around that 2.5 cent level. As we, If we take a look back here, this is one of those true bear market resistances, resistance here and here. And, you know, if we come up and test it here as well, that is somewhere that we are going to need to see, you know, being tested if we're going to hit the top of the range as well. Overall, it's been boring, hasn't it? You know, a lot of people are saying that the bear market is like, you know, it's never going to end. Everyone's super bored. Loads of people, you know, getting shook out of the market, disinterested. The volume's going down and down and down. V chain just going sideways in a range like this. Everyone's saying, you know, crypto winter's turning into an ice age. Basically, nothing is happening. Everything is just chopping sideways. We're never going to recover. But, you know, we'd say in regards to that, if we just uh, let me just get my magnet here so this is very accurate. Just get to that top of that all the way down to here. You can see for VeChain, we're down to that low, down around 92, 93%. So we are approaching those 90 to 95% levels where we do see altcoins fall that far before essentially, you know, starting to bottom out because in previous, you know, we're only obviously going off of the data from previous cycles. But we'd say realistically, cryptocurrencies, you know, it's very, very unlikely that we're going to see a prolonged extended period of downside in our opinion we have seen a very very big downturn in the market obviously for basically every crypto bitcoin's down 80 85 percent ethereum's down 85 percent pretty much every altcoin that we look at is down 90 percent or 95 percent and these are usually the levels that you start to see before you get a prolonged extended period of consolidation you know at the bottom of the bear market before we move to the upside and that is essentially what we are seeing here you can see ourselves chopping sideways for a long, long time here with VeChain in this range, looking something like this. You know, this is the top of your range, your bottom. Test the top again, test the bottom again, and then we're probably going to see ourselves coming back up and retesting the top, in our opinion. If I just get my Fibonacci out here, I'm just going to essentially go to the top of this top of this bull market here, down to this low, just about there. You can see we've dragged it to this low here. We need VeChain to come up and retest the fibs, don't we? Because we've not actually got to the fibs yet. We've come all the way down, retested that low. We've created that low, sorry. We've come down, retested the bottom with the range like this. And again, and now what we need to see, you know, is VeChain coming up, breaking this resistance here, which is a key level of resistance. Now that we're above our EMAs, if we can hold them as support, you'd expect VeChain to come up and do something like this and test this level. If we see ourselves, you know, bouncing off this, we're probably going to come down again. If we break through it and back, back test it, we need to come up to the top of the range and retest it again at around that three and a half cent level. And we do have this 023 fib here that we do need to see tested at around 3.8 cents as well. So overall, you know, VeChain, it's doing what it needs to do, isn't it? It's slow, it's boring, there's low amounts of volume, there's disinterest in it. But you know, we did get up to 30 cents here, didn't we? Almost 30 cents essentially at the top here, around 28 cents at the top of the bull market. And, you know, there was prolonged periods, as we said before, of VeChain going sideways back here. Everyone was bored. Everyone was, you know, VeChain's never going to do anything. And that is exactly the same situation here. Remember that this crypto went to 28 cents. You know, it's currently sitting at around 24 cents. So that would be, you know, essentially a 12x from the current price, wouldn't it, if it went back just to the all-time high. And, you know, if it does go beyond that, you could be looking at 20 or 30x in the next few years if it does continue to move. So those price predictions for the short term, we do think, you know, heading up to this 2.6 cents level is fairly guaranteed at this point. And we do want to see ourselves heading up towards the top of the range as well, if we can break this resistance. If we roll over, we're heading back down to around that 2.2 cent level, aren't we? So that's it for today, guys. Thank you, everyone, for watching. Make sure to check out the links in the description below to support the channel. Grab yourself some free money bonuses and we'll see you in the next video.